up there. Olympics! So welcome today. The out there guy is going to learn how to synchronize swim. Tell me about synchronized swimming. I know it's an Olympic sport. I'm going to Beijing in a month. Tell me what I need to be prepared for. Well, it's pretty hard because you have to make it look easy when you swim. I think the hardest part is that you have to like fight the urge to breathe. Because <laughs> that's, a, that's an urge we all have. <laughs> yeah. Physically, what does your body have to be ready for? You have to have a lot of like strength. Arm strength okay. is what holds you up, um, and your leg strength. What do you say to people who think you know synchronized swimming? That's not a sport. What do you say to that? Well, have you ever tried to hold your breath while you like run for a long distance or something like that? Um, no, never. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that we don't touch the bottom. Oh, at really? All when we Is that swim. like eh, your game over yep. if you touch the bottom? You get a two-point penalty. You get judged on artistic impression, okay. which is your presentation, and um, there's technical merit, which is like technical elements and how okay. synchronized you are. On a team of synchronized swimmers, how many swimmers are on the team? You can have up to eight. We usually learn it outside the water because it's just easier to hear. Water, how do you how do you hear what's going on? And um, there's an underwater speaker. Oh, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. How many guys are in the sport of synchronized swimming? Um, there's one that I know of right now. There's one in the whole world. Yeah. Um. <laughs> now there's gonna be two. I'm the next one. Let's go. Let's get in the pool. Ah! Okay, let's start with the basics, with just a little bit of an egg beater kick. If you look at Taylor. Okay. So pull your knees up. Just Pull your knees up like you're sitting in a chair. Okay. <laughs> and then you try to take your right leg and make a rotary on. But well, legs don't do that. <laughs> and you have to remember to keep breathing. Like the, <laughs> Although breathe. breathing is optional. <laughs> breathing. Support. Breathe. Must remember to breathe. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get your hips up. There you go. Oh, nose clip in the house. Here we go. <laughs> These things make you look really <laughs> sexy. Pull it over my head. <laughs> then, get it up. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Keep your head tucked. Yeah. You got stay <laughs> Alright, so Coach Tracy, what are you holding? Those look dangerous. These are ankle weights, so we make our swimmers train with these. This is all about it strength. Is. You're a lifeguard, right? I am a lifeguard. Alright, yeah, just in case. That definitely feels like somebody's pulling on your feet. Eight, one. One. Oh, yeah! My turn! Eight, one. Great for synchronized swimming! Well, Coach Tracy, how am I doing? You're doing pretty good. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Um, you have to be a good swimmer. You have to be able to be agile in the water and move and just start learning the basics from an early age of how to do this. Most people don't understand what it takes yeah. to do synchronized swimming. You have to be a well-trained swimmer to start with before you can even begin to do the sport. It takes all the elements of dance, gymnastics, weight training, swimming. People out there, you got to respect synchronized swimming. This is the hardest sport I've ever done. Like <laughs> far. Woo! Look! Yes! Synchronized swimming! <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 Looks like the Incredible Hulk trying to I know. <laughs> 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 